I now call upon Rabbi Hillel Lavery Yisraeli. I am ecstatic and humbled to be standing here today in the presence of all of you, my family, dignitaries, and friends, as I officially assume the mantle of leadership of this holy and beautiful congregation. Your celebratory presence here today as we embark on a new journey together is so meaningful to me. I wish to acknowledge also those who, for various reasons, are unable to attend in person and are joining us on the live stream, including my mentor, Rabbi Kahana, whose beautiful blessing you heard moments ago. Rabbi Akadosh Veha Ahuv, Milim Lotuchalna Litaer Kama Mashmauti Tavuri, Hi Statvutra, Bama Ahmad Haze, Iti Hayom. וכולי תפילה שהקדוש ברוך הוא ימשיך להחלימך ולהחזיקך ולרפאותך שנזכה שתשפיע מעומק לבך עלינו ותאיר את עינינו בנועם הליכותיך לעולמים. May the Holy Blessed One continue to heal him and strengthen him and may we all continue to merit to learn from his pleasant ways and his holy thoughts. Amen. Amen. I wish to acknowledge with the deepest of gratitude the dignitaries who worked hard to secure my visa, allowing me to come to this beautiful city, especially Congresswoman Grace Meng, Assemblywoman Nili Rozak, and City Council Member Jim Gennaro. I salute each of you in your efforts in fighting anti-Semitism, racism, misogyny, homophobia, prejudice, pro poverty, homelessness, inequality, and the destruction of our planet, and offer my hand in cooperation and collaboration. In my previous pulpits, I always enjoyed close relationships with the elected officials in all levels of government, and I am hopeful to continue in that vein here in Queens for the betterment of all its inhabitants. I wish to acknowledge those who are present with us today in spirit form alone, having moved on from this world. Here I refer to those who put their hearts and souls into this congregation and the congregations which combined to form it. The Israel Center of Hillcrest Manor, the Conservative Synagogue of Jamaica Estates, and the Electchester Jewish Center. I especially want to mention the late Alan Aronson, one of the pillars of the community who was very instrumental in bringing me here, but sadly passed away weeks before my arrival. And since Marilyn worked so hard to bring us here, opened our celebration today with her recitation of Psalm 24 and also headed the installation committee, and since his yard site happens to fall tonight, I want to mention with great respect the late Mel Kaufman, whom unfortunately I did not have the privilege of meeting, but I understand was a dear friend to all of you and was the backbone of this congregation for a very long time. Though I couldn't meet him personally, I understand that so much of what we enjoy here at ICCJ is the result of his work and dedication. His soul continues to live in this holy edifice for all eternity. I equally acknowledge those people who played important roles in my personal journey and are no longer alive for me to thank. My grandparents it is still foreign to me to be celebrating like this without them physically sitting here in the front row quelling. The rabbis from whom I learned both from their verbal instruction and from their pleasant ways, and friends and mentors. We 
owe them all our eternal gratitude. We are but small people riding on the shoulders of giants, often only looking ahead and mistakenly believing we are walking with our own two feet. As I am a firm believer in the eternity of the soul, I feel they are all actually here with us today, celebrating and taking pride in us. I am grateful to the United States of America, the state of New York, New York City and the borough of Queens who welcomed me and my family and are allowing us to make our home here despite not being citizens yet. And as we, the Jewish people, proudly honor our eternal connection with Israel, our ancestral land and a welcoming home to many peoples and faiths, so do we solemnly respect the nations for whom North America and especially New York is their sacred land. We acknowledge that we are situated on the traditional homeland of the Lenape Nation, who were violently displaced from their land by early European settlers over the course of 400 years. North America has been a site of human activity for over 15,000 years. Today, it is still home to many indigenous people from all across Turtle Island. We recognize, honor, and respect these nations as the traditional stewards of this land. We are grateful to have the opportunity to live with them. And I was glad to learn that the city of New York is taking important steps to address the painful history of its interactions with indigenous people, build ruptured relationships, and work towards reconciliation. This should be considered a universal ethical imperative and is certainly a Jewish imperative. A synagogue is so much more than just a house of prayer. It is a place of meeting for people of all walks of life to jointly work to establish and strengthen the three pillars upon which the world stands as articulated in the Mishnah. Al Shiloshad Devarim Ha'olam Omed, the world stands upon three things Torah, wisdom, Avodah, worship, and Gemilut Hasadim, performing acts of loving kindness for others. In reverse order, these three pillars represent a person's interactions with all other people a person's interactions with God, life, and existence in its purest form, and a person's interactions with themselves. Missing any of these three pillars, the world no longer stands with stability. But the first and most important step in strengthening any of these three pillars is gathering together to collaborate on the project with others. So in Hebrew, a synagogue is called Bet Knesset, House of Gathering. Not Bet Tefillah, a house of prayer, but Bet Knesset, House of Gathering. Because of your gathering in it, the ICCJ family is able to work tireless, tirelessly to strengthen each of these three pillars each and every day. From early childhood, I knew I would be a congregational rabbi one day. Growing up in a rural Vancouver suburb, where on Saturday mornings my father and I would walk past a horse casually grazing in someone's front lawn, whom we affectionately nicknamed Ferdele, to get to our little bungalow-turned neighborhood shul, I would never have imagined that one day I would be at the helm of one of the leading and fastest growing congregations of New York City. But when I recognized the uniquely beautiful spectrum of ages, backgrounds, and interests within this congregation, as well as the enthusiasm of its members for involvement, exploration, innovation, and action, I knew that ICCJ would be the right home for me and my family and the right congregation for me as a rabbi. With the values I personally hold dear and recognizing Queens 
as the most diverse city in the world, there is no question that this is where we are meant to make our home. The key for me is achdut, unity, togetherness. Togetherness not despite the ways in which we are different, but togetherness in celebration of the ways in which we are different, and in recognition that these differences combine to make the most beautiful mosaic. Together, we will build ICCJ. Together, we will keep Judaism relevant for future generations. Together, we will bring about tikkun olam, the repair of the world. We have just begun and have already accomplished so much. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Learning opportunities, innovative worship, collaboration on social action, without and within, we will accomplish this all together with inspiration from those who have come before us and an eye towards the needs of those who will come after us. מי שברך אבותינו אברהם, יצחק ויעקב ואימותינו שרה רבקה רחל ולאה הוא יברך את כל הקהל הקדוש הזה עם כל קהילות הקודש הם ומשפחותיהם וכל אשר להם ומי שמייחדים בתי כנסיות לתפילה ומי שבאים בתוכם להתפלל ומי שנותנים נר למאור ויין לקידוש ולהבדלה ופת לאורחים ולחם לרעבים וצדקה לעניים ומכסה לחיים ברחוב וכל מי שעוסקים בצורכי ציבור ובבניין ארץ ישראל באמונה הקדוש ברוך הוא ישלם שכרם ויסיר מהם כל מחלה וירפא לכל גופם ויסלח לכל עוונם וישלח ברכה והצלחה בכל מעשה ידיהם עם כל ישראל אחיהם ואחיותיהם ונאמר אמן. May the one who blessed our ancestors Abraham, Yitzchak and Yaakov, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel and Leah bless this entire congregation together with all other holy congregations, they, their families and all that is theirs, along with those who devote themselves to establish synagogues for prayer, as well as those who enter them to pray, and those who provide for their maintenance, wine for Kiddush and Abdallah, food for guests, bread for the hungry, tzedakah for the poor, and shelter for the homeless, and all who faithfully devote themselves to the needs of this community in the land of Israel. May the Holy One reward them, remove sickness from them, heal them, and forgive their sins. May God bless them by making all their, word, their worthy endeavors prosper, as well as those of the entire people Israel, their brothers and sisters, and let us say Amen. I wish to personally thank the babies and the toddlers <laughs> who came out for my installation today. And though you laugh, I mean this actually seriously, because I am their rabbi too, and they are our future, and they are our present. Amen. Our prayers always conclude with a prayer for peace. And my words today, which combine gratitude for what was and is, and hope for a bright and exciting future, culminate in prayers for universal peace as well. Please say the holy words together with me. Ose shalom bimromav. Hu yaase shalom alenu. ועל כל ישראל, ועל כל יושבי תבל, ואמרו אמן. May the one who makes peace on high bring peace to us, to all of Israel, and to all the inhabitants of the universe. And let us say, Amen. Thank you, everyone.